Hello, Superintendent Barbara Jenkins here. This time every year, Orange County Public Schools recognizes a special group of graduating seniors. We call them Super Scholars. These students have been accepted to one or more of the top 20 colleges and universities as ranked by the U.S. News & World Report, or received an appointment to one of our nation's military service academies. These students have gone above and beyond and have taken positive advantage of OCPS offerings. They've played team sports, tutored fellow students, joined clubs, or represented their peers through student government participated in competitions, volunteered countless hours, and at the same time, studied diligently. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we can't gather together in person to recognize these exceptional students as we've done in the past, but we didn't want to let their hard work go unrecognized. So this year, we're taking a different approach and sharing our recognitions virtually. To each one of our super scholars watching, we're so very proud of you and what you've accomplished. You epitomize our vision of successful students. You've proven that no goal is beyond your reach and that if you work hard, you get smarter. Thank you for serving as an example to the juniors and other students who will follow you. Behind each one of you, is your principal and school administrators, all committed to your academic and social success, and of course, your parents. Among them is a special group of school staff members, your counselors. Their commitment and dedication provided important links in your high school success and college and career readiness. They've helped tailor your course load to support future goals and ensured you remained on track. They were integral to leading you to success. So to all our high school counselors, thank you for all that you've done for the class of 2020, and especially this class of super scholars. At this time, I would like to introduce our school board chair, Teresa Jacobs. Hello everyone. As chair of the Orange County School Board, I too want to congratulate each one of the bright and awesome super scholar students who you will meet in this program. They have all worked extremely hard over the past four years to reach levels of distinction that earned them promising futures and inclusion in a distinguished cohort of OCPS graduating seniors. To our super scholars, I regret terribly that we can't come together in person to celebrate and honor all that you have accomplished. Like you, we're practicing safety and patience, navigating and adapting as best we can. But before you leave this chapter behind for what is sure to be an even brighter and more exciting chapter, it is important to me and my fellow school board members to recognize your academic achievements. You represent our very best and brightest students, and like your parents and family members, we could not be prouder. And we too look forward to following your future successes. To the parents watching, you are to be commended for your devotion and participation in your child's achievements. In the end, I hope we can all agree that the tassel was worth the hassle. And to all the principals, teachers, and school support staff watching, thank you for your support of our 2020 Super Scholars. It can never be said enough. Your leadership is one of the most significant forces leading our students to success. In closing, Super Scholars, we at OCPS wish you all the best. Go forth, make this world better for yourselves, for your parents, and for all of us who marvel at your talents, your commitment, and your intelligence. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you, Chair Jacobs. To take us through the rest of our program, it's my pleasure to introduce Nancy Alvarez from WFTV Channel 9 and an OCPS parent. For several years, Nancy has graciously volunteered her time to help us recognize our super scholars. Thank you, Superintendent Jenkins, for once again having me be part of this special recognition. It is an honor to have a role in this program year after year. And while we can't be together physically, I know it's tough, 
I am thrilled that we can still share in the celebration of student achievement and all of these incredible students. It's certainly been an interesting year, right? And I wish I could say I am talking about celebrating Orange County Public Schools 150th anniversary. It was an incredible milestone in the history of Central Florida public education and I am glad to be here in this role to honor many of the district's 150th senior class. Today we are doing things a little differently, of course, right? Everything seems to be different in our world right now. We will virtually recognize a very special group of Orange County Public School students who are our super scholars. You'll get to meet and hear about all 117 of them. You heard me, 117. That is a record-breaking number and they represent all 20 OCPS high schools. Amazing, right? Before we move on to the recognition part of the program, I'd like to share some information with you regarding our Super Scholars alumni. In 2014, a group of young alumni wanted mentors and a support network for the challenges of attending a top 20 college or university. So they created the Super Scholars Success Initiative. Today, over 150 alumni are ready to ensure your success after OCPS. Because of COVID-19, these alumni are building a virtual welcome day for you where you can hear from past super scholars, learn how to navigate the summer before college, and so much more. It's invaluable information. To join this network, all you have to do is email Pam Carson. In addition, as an OCPS Super Scholar, you will each receive a handsome Super Scholar Diploma cover, which was generously provided by Herf Jones, as well as a Certificate of Recognition from the School Board of Orange County. These items will be made available for you soon. Keep an eye out for them in your email from your school counselor with instructions. Now let's welcome District 1 School Board member Angie Gallo, who represents East River University and Winter Park High Schools. Congratulations, 2020 Super Scholar graduate. I am so very proud, proud of you. Your hard work and determination is how you got here, accepted to one of the top 20 colleges in the nation. Well done, seniors, well done. Thanks, Angie. Now let's get started with our first Super Scholar from East River High School. Jason Abbott has been appointed to and will attend the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He is a member of the National Honor Society and is a four-year member of the school's cross-country and track team. While at West Point, he plans to major in engineering and serve in the United States Army. Congratulations, Falcon. Next are the Super Scholars from University High School. Nicholas Graves has been accepted to Cornell and Duke. He is an Orlando Science Center Pritchard Youth Scholar, a first place winner of the Catalyst Academy and was part of a team who created an exhibit prototype that teaches guests about DNA replication using an app and 3D printing. Nicholas is the first of his siblings to attend a four-year college and plans to major in biology. Blas Herrero has accepted a full scholarship to Washington University in St. Louis. He is a first-generation college student and plans to study finance and electrical engineering. Andrew Eisen will attend the U.S. Air Force Academy. He's a three-sport varsity athlete and third-degree black belt in Taekwondo. He plans to study aeronautical engineering and wants to become a fighter pilot. Congratulations Cougars, up next is Winter Park High School. Bennett Brown is attending the University of Pennsylvania. He is captain of the crew team and a two-time Scholastic State rowing champion. He's also an AP scholar with distinction who will major in philosophy, politics and economics and hopes to become an attorney. Avia Diamond plans to attend Washington University in St. Louis. She is the varsity tennis captain, a saxophonist in the band, and a member of three honor societies. She plans to major in finance and philosophy, plus neuroscience and psychology. Leah Howell has been accepted to Grinnell College and Washington and Lee University. Leah is a four-year varsity swimmer and volunteers teaching children to swim in the summer. She plans to major in mathematics. 
Daniel Lindauer is the son of two Venezuelan immigrants and will attend the University of Chicago. He volunteered three years in Eatonville's Learn to Swim program and plans to major in economics and history before going to law school. Marion Meneses will attend the University of Chicago, a Questbridge National College match scholar. Marion is also president of the National French Honor Society. She plans to study political science and international relations and would like a career in the Foreign Service. Uma Meenan has been accepted to Columbia, Duke, Princeton, Stanford, Vanderbilt, and Yale Universities, University of Pennsylvania, and Wellesley College. She was invited to be U.S. Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy's guest to the State of the Union after winning her essay contest. She plans to study international affairs, economics, and creative writing at Princeton. Liam Negron was accepted to Grinnell College and Washington University in St. Louis. He's on the swim team and in the Wind Symphony and plans to study electrical engineering. Bin Pham has been accepted to California Institute of Technology, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and University of California, Los Angeles. He's a National Merit Finalist and has six Science Olympiad medals. The first person in his family to go to college, Bin will study computer science and engineering at MIT. Dario Rico is attending Stanford University to study history and economics. He's a QuestBridge match recipient and participated in Boys State and the History Bowl Nationals. He is a first generation college student. Ella Grace Rodriguez was accepted to Northwestern University. She is a 2019 Al Newhearth Free Spirit and Journalism Scholar and created a 20 minute documentary for a nonprofit group that revitalizes the lives of orphaned youth in Kenya. She's also performed alongside Yo Yo Ma. She plans to study film and television production. Angelica Sanchez has been accepted to Vanderbilt, Washington University in St. Louis, and Yale. She is a National Merit Scholar who helped establish Willie's Mart, Winter Park High School's food pantry. And she's passionate about combating health disparities in medically underrepresented communities. She plans to major in biology and attend medical school. Aster Zhang has been accepted to Brown, Columbia, Duke, and Princeton Universities, the University of Chicago, University of Pennsylvania, Vanderbilt, Washington University in St. Louis, Williams College, and Yale University. Aster is ranked number one in the senior class and plans to study economics and music performance. Congratulations, Wildcats. Now, let's welcome school board member Joanna Lopez, who represents District 2. Schools in this district are Colonial, Lake Nona, and Timber Creek. They are 2020 OCPS Super Scholars. It's always an honor to speak to such an esteemed group of students like you, who have demonstrated commitment, perseverance, and dedication in the face of great adversity. You are all already great leaders in our community, and I am sure you will help make our world a better place for everyone. Never ever stop believing in yourself. Congratulations, felicidades. Thank you, Joanna. Representing Colonial High School is Omar Martinez. Omar has been accepted and will attend Stanford. He is the first student to be an Orange Technical College dual enrollment student and valedictorian. He's an elevation scholar and is the first in his family to attend college. He plans to major in mechanical engineering and own an automotive shop. Congratulations, Grenadier. Next, we have Lake Nona High School. Jasmine Ali Diaz has been accepted at Northwestern University. The class valedictorian runs the Recycling Initiative, is president of Nona Science and the National Green School Society, and is vice president of the Key Club. In college, Jasmine plans to study mechanical engineering. Marco Batista Rudolph has been accepted to and will attend the University of Chicago on a full ride under the Odyssey Scholarship. At Lake Nona, he has been involved in theater and chorus. Unsure of what he will major in, Marco plans to spend his time in college refining his interests. Daniel Blackman has been accepted to and will attend Claremont McKenna College. This nationally ranked tennis player plans to study economics in college to work in investment banking. Joshua Bird has been accepted to and will attend Rice University. This AP scholar aims to be the first in his family to complete a college degree. At Rice, he plans to study mechanical engineering to become an engineer. 
Jordan Campbell was accepted to the University of Chicago with future sights of being a paleontologist. He plans to major in geology with a minor in biology. Christopher Cole has been accepted to and will attend Westland University, where he is committed to play for the Cardinals as he studies economics. The captain of the varsity baseball team is also dual enrolled and will graduate high school with his associate degree. Jordan Fu has been accepted at Washington and Lee University. She is a nationally ranked debater and is treasurer of her school's National Honor Society. Jordan plans to major in mechanical engineering. Henry Oconquo has been accepted at Grinnell College and Vanderbilt University. A recipient of the Benjamin Banneker STEM Award, Henry has done research with NASA's 45th Weather Squadron and presented it at the National American Meteorological Society Conference earlier this year. In college, he plans to study biomedical science and then go to medical school. Angel Marie Rivera Sanchez has been accepted at Colgate College. She speaks four languages and will graduate high school with an associate degree. She intends to major in political science and become an international humanitarian lawyer. Congratulations, Lions. Next up is Timber Creek High School. Jasmine Barrett was accepted to Rice University, the youngest of five. She looks up to her siblings who have taught her countless lessons and to her parents who instilled in her a desire to work diligently and achieve her goals no matter the situation. Jasmine plans to study environmental or electrical engineering. Morgan Fink has been accepted at Colgate College, Middlebury College, Vanderbilt University, and Vassar. She is ranked number one in her class and is a national AP scholar. Morgan plans to study chemical engineering and mathematics. Grace Lee has been accepted to and will attend Duke University. This national merit finalist has a third degree black belt in Taekwondo and leads the entire orchestra program as first chair in the highest orchestra. At Duke, she intends to major in civil engineering. Natalie Longton has been accepted at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the University of California, Los Angeles. She is president of the school's programming team and one of 186 students worldwide to score a perfect score on the AP Computer Science A exam. Natalie will attend MIT to study computer science. Benjamin Martinez has been accepted to Duke University, Stanford University, University of Chicago, and Yale. He was a member of the swim and water polo teams and led a service club to help the homeless. He plans to attend Stanford and study computer science. Sasha Santiago has been accepted at Cornell University, Hamilton College, Harborford College, Smith College, Vassar College, and Wellesley College. She participated in theater, was captain of the varsity cross-country team, and is an all-county violinist and member of the Timber Creek Symphony and Philharmonic Orchestras. She plans to attend Wellesley and one day become an orthopedic doctor or neurosurgeon. Mary Twitney Tran has been accepted at Amherst College, Bowdoin College, and Swarthmore College. She is president of the National Social Studies Honor Society, ran the Liberty in North Korea chapter at Timber Creek High, and enjoys plant keeping and baking. Mary intends to major in history at Swarthmore College. Anjana Vishnui Botla has been accepted and will attend the University of Chicago. She is a national violinist and regularly volunteers at the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando Shelter. At the university, she plans to major in psychology or music composition. Pris Wasunwanwich has been accepted at Amherst College, Colgate College, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Smith College. The Questbridge finalist is a researcher in an organic chemistry lab and works at a local Thai restaurant. She plans to attend MIT, major in chemical engineering, and become a cardio surgeon. Wan Ki Yen has been accepted to Rice University and Yale. The first generation college student is a National Merit Scholar and National AP Scholar. She plans to study civil engineering in college. Manuela Zapata has been accepted to and will attend Washington and Lee University. She is captain of the girls water polo team and works with the United Nations Girl Up organization to raise awareness and raise money for girls in third world countries. At Washington and Lee University, this first generation college student plans to study neuroscience. Congratulations, Timberwolves. All right, up next is school board member Linda Covert, who represents District 3. High schools in this district are Boone, Cypress Creek, and Freedom.
Super scholars, congratulations. You've been accepted into some of the finest institutions in our country. And this opportunity was not given to you. You earned it through your hard work, your determination, and your perseverance. My grandparents, your great grandparents, were known as the greatest generation. Like you, their young lives were shaped by financial crisis, war, and even a pandemic. But it was their hard work, determination, and perseverance that shaped our country into what it is today. And I see those qualities in you. So congratulations. I am so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what you do with this opportunity. Thanks, Linda. Let's start with Boone High School. Kevin Chabriel has been accepted to Colgate and Haverford. The future first-generation college student received a full ride to Haverford College and plans to attend the school to continue his fight for educational equality. While there, he plans to major in political science and then return to Puerto Rico to help provide the education to fuel the fire of hope and bring back the country's economy. Dina Scherfels has been accepted to Northwestern and Vanderbilt. Dina ranks in the top 3% of the graduating class as a Questbridge Scholar and was accepted to and received a scholarship to the Yale Young Global Scholars Program. Dina plans to attend and major in biology at Northwestern and attend medical school. Anna Ciro has been accepted to the University of Chicago and Wellesley. For the past four years, she was a member of the Student Government Association and is the current student body treasurer. She is also the executive chair of community outreach for Boone's Dance Marathon. Anna plans to attend law school to study immigration law. Kayla Costin has been accepted to Cornell. Recognized as one of the class's valedictorians, she successfully completed the Academy of Finance Magnet program and is a co-captain of the Quiz Bowl team. She plans to study animal health, become a veterinary surgeon, and open her own vet hospital. Kia Costin has been accepted to Cornell. She is a valedictorian of her senior class and co-founder and president of the Animal Aid and Awareness Club. She plans to major in animal and poultry science, complete her surgical residency, and open up her own veterinary practice. Sebastian Garcia has been accepted to Columbia and MIT. He is the first in his family to attend college, a national AP scholar, and an after-school tutor. He will attend MIT, major in computer science, and plans to become a software engineer. Caitlin Hansen has been accepted to Duke, Northwestern, Pennsylvania, and Vanderbilt. She served as head captain of the varsity dance team, which she was a member of for all four years, and was head captain her senior year. She was also a member of Boone's Academy of Law, president of the Law Honor Society, co-captain of Moot Court Team, and completed several legal internships. Additionally, she has served as president of the Spanish Honor Society and Ro Kappa, secretary of the National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society, historian of Mu Alpha Theta, and head captain of the varsity dance team. She plans to attend Duke and become a criminal attorney. Sean McCabe has been accepted to Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania. He served as a class president in the Student Government Association, formed the school's principal's cabinet, and started an SAT tutoring program for low-income students. In the fall, he will attend Harvard, major in computer science and economics, and become an entrepreneur in the tech industry. Catherine Wurst has been accepted to Northwestern University. She is a class valedictorian, an AP scholar with distinction, and has performed improvisation comedy with Second City on stage at the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts. She plans to major in marketing communications and or environmental science to promote environmental advocacy and be a part of positive global change and unity. Congratulations Braves! Now let's welcome Cypress Creek High School. Fiza Ali will attend Johns Hopkins. She is a co-founder of an Amnesty International chapter at her school, plays the violin and piano, and helps teach STEM introductory classes to first grade students. She plans to major in molecular biology and public health and attend medical school. Natasha Chisholm has been accepted to Swarthmore and Washington University in St. Louis. She too is a co-founder of an Amnesty chapter and composes music in her spare time. The future international relations major will attend Washington and aspires to become an attorney. 
Julia Dembski has been accepted to Northwestern. She served as captain of the cheerleading team and during the summer led weekly beach cleanups. While at Northwestern, she plans to major in molecular biology and is considering pursuing pre-medicine to go into research. Sarah Godron was accepted to Grinnell, Northwestern, Chicago, Pennsylvania, Washington and Lee, and Westlin. The Questbridge finalist spent a summer in Germany to study the language and culture. She was also selected for a youth leadership conference at the University of Chicago, where she will attend this fall. She plans to major in cellular biology and become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Aldieri Gonzalez has been accepted to Cornell and Northwestern. She is a first-generation college student who served as president of the Coding Club and an officer for the school's drama club. Aldieri will pursue a degree in computer science at Northwestern in hopes of becoming a computer software engineer. Saman Jawani has been accepted to UCLA. She is a top 10 scholar, was a co-captain of her school's math team, and aspires to become a corporate lawyer. Sadat Kassem was also accepted to UCLA. This National Merit Scholar spends much of his time competing and tutoring math and science. He plans to study biomedical engineering and go into dentistry. Samitha Kosanam has been accepted to UCLA. She is a salutatorian of her class, a National Merit Scholar, and president of the school's orchestra. In the fall, she plans to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. Nathan Mohit has been accepted to Amherst, Cornell, Johns Hopkins, Middlebury, Princeton, and Stanford. Nathan is a Coca-Cola Scholar semifinalist who believes that political activism is crucial to changing the world regardless of the area of study. He plans to major in biology or bioengineering at Stanford this fall. Ajay Narain has been accepted to UCLA. He is ranked first in his class as an AP scholar with distinction and a quiz bowl captain. He plans to major in chemical engineering and apply his knowledge at a STEM-related company. Tim Thom has been accepted to and will attend Colby. He is a first-generation college student who is a proud member of Troop 5115 and plans to pursue a career in cinema. Emilio Rivas has been accepted to Stanford. Emilio is the co-captain of the math team, a four-year varsity soccer player, presidential scholars nominee, and founder of his school's on-campus thrift store. At Stanford, the first-generation college student plans to major in math and start his own business. Anita Thomas has been accepted to Vassar. For the past year, she has volunteered at a local emergency room and has focused many of her efforts on mental health awareness on her school campus. She plans to major in biology and go to medical school to become an anesthesiologist. Congratulations, Bears! And now Freedom High School. Youssef Abakura has been accepted and will attend Northwestern University. He plans to major in biological sciences and become an orthodontist. Youssef says he looks up to his parents because they sacrifice everything for him. Sarantuya Bayarchulun has been accepted to and will attend Grinnell College. She is a Questbridge scholar and is the first in her family to attend college. Catherine Chen has been accepted to and will attend the University of California, Los Angeles. An AP scholar with distinction, she has successfully completed level 10 piano with honors in accordance with the requirements prescribed by the Royal Conservatory of Music's Music Development Program. Catherine plans to double major in climate science and statistics and become a climatologist or data scientist. Fabian Espinosa del Sambella has been accepted to Amherst College, Duke University, Johns Hopkins, Northwestern, and Rice. This Questbridge finalist is a first-generation college student. At Johns Hopkins, he plans to major in physics and become a college professor and researcher. Jada McCoy has been accepted and will attend Pomona College. The Freedom High School student body president is also a member of the superintendent's student advisory council. She is interested in majoring in geochemistry, molecular biology, or linguistics, and she is open to exploring other possibilities. Alexander Nguyen was accepted to Colgate College. He is a YLS scholar, is the assistant percussion captain of the school's band, and is secretary of the school's chapter of the National Honor Society. He plans to major in finance. Brianna Reed has been accepted to and will attend the University of Chicago. She is president of Freedom's National Honor Society chapter and has spent hundreds of hours volunteering at her local Boys and Girls Club. The first generation college student plans to major in computer science and pursue a career that blends computer science and health studies. 
Eric Roche has been accepted to Cornell, Duke, Johns Hopkins, and the University of Pennsylvania. A national AP scholar, he is also an all-county band and all-state trombonist and wrestling champion. Eric plans to attend Johns Hopkins and major in biomedical engineering. Julian Roche has been accepted to Cornell, Johns Hopkins, Northwestern University, and the University of Pennsylvania. Also a national AP scholar, he is an all-state trumpet player and a district champion wrestler. An intern for Lockheed Martin's Missiles and Fire Control Division, Julian will decide between attending Cornell or Northwestern, where he plans to major in mechanical engineering with minors in aerospace engineering and music. Sebastian Uribe Leon has been accepted to Johns Hopkins University. The class salutatorian is interested in biochemistry or another medical field of study. Congratulations, Patriots. All right, that wraps up all of our District 3 Super Scholars. Now it's District 4's turn. Welcome school board member Pam Gold, who represents Dr. Phillips, Olympia, and Windermere High Schools. Well, it's your senior year. You're a super scholar and you have proven that you have resilience and tenacity with all the accomplishments you've made in your K-12 career. I wanna congratulate you on that. I also wanna challenge you not to let this time and historic moment rob you of your celebration. Find a way to celebrate your success. Go out and apply that same resiliency and tenacity to the next step in your life. Congratulations, be well, be safe, and be happy. Thanks, Pam. First up is Dr. Phillips High. Roxanne DeZuroth has been accepted to and will attend West Point. She is a class valedictorian and a four-year varsity letterman for cross country and track and field. She plans to major in electrical engineering and become an officer in the Army. Anna Kostowski has been accepted to UCLA. She has competed in the district's five thespian competition and is also a volunteer at Give Kids the World. She plans to major in psychology and criminal justice and become a lawyer that advocates for minority groups. Serena Zo has been accepted to and will attend Cornell. She is a recipient of the National Silver Medal, nine Gold Key Awards, and five Silver Key Awards in Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. She is passionate about reforming the Florida juvenile justice system and has served as Secretary of the Department of Juvenile Justice for the Florida YMCA Youth and Government Program. The Rawlings Cornell Presidential Scholar plans to double major in government and economics and become an immigration and corporate attorney. Congratulations, Panthers. Next, we recognize Olympia High. Erica Acosta has been accepted to and will attend the University of Pennsylvania. She is captain of the speech and debate team and manages the Titan Market. Erica plans to major in health and societies and have a career as a public health doctor. Elle Ferguson, too, has been accepted to and will attend the University of Pennsylvania. She is a national merit finalist, plays competitive travel soccer, and volunteers at Give Kids the World. She plans to major in engineering to one day work in biomedical engineering. Haven Iyengar has been accepted at the University of Pennsylvania and Washington University in St. Louis. This national merit finalist, varsity swim team captain and secretary of Olympia's National Honor Society also will join fellow classmates at the University of Pennsylvania. He plans to major in biochemistry before going to the U.S. Air Force to eventually work as a trauma surgeon. Sampada Iyengar has been accepted to attend Johns Hopkins University. She is the drum major of the Titan Marching Band and among the top 10 of her senior class. Like her twin brother, Paven, Sampada plans to study the sciences and one day become a doctor. However, she wants to major in molecular and cellular biology. Tuma Mack has been accepted to and will attend Princeton University. Victoria Marengua has also been accepted to and will attend Princeton University. She is an AP Scholar with distinction, Questbridge Scholar, and is a member of the Titan Marching Band. Her favorite quote is by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Perseverance is a great element of success. If you knock long enough and loud enough at the gate, you are sure to wake up somebody. Sarah Myers has received an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy. She is a member of Olympia's Science Olympiad team and is the principal violinist in Olympia's top orchestra and a member of Florida Symphony Youth Orchestra. She plans to major in aerospace engineering before serving her country. 
Mira Saldanha has been accepted to California Institute of Technology. She is captain of the Olympia Science Olympiad, president of the school's National Honor Society, and longtime volunteer at the Orlando Science Center. In college, she plans to major in environmental engineering. Congratulations, Titans. Now we move on to our super scholars from West Orange High School. Ariadna Aguilar was accepted to Columbia University. Mazen Babiker has been accepted to Washington University in St. Louis. Mazen is a national AP scholar who plans to major and become a biomedical engineer. Stacy Diapava is second in her class and plans to attend University of Pennsylvania where she plans to major in biological basis of behavior in hopes of becoming a doctor. Daniel Harrington is attending Davidson College. He is captain of the football team and will continue playing at Davidson. He is a National Merit Scholar and plans to study biology and go on to medical school. Rajay Preddy will attend Vanderbilt University to study computer science. He runs cross country and track and field and plays lead saxophone in the top jazz band. He also tutors students after school twice a week. Garrett Valentine will study mechanical engineering at Brown University. He played three years of varsity football and regional track and field. He will continue to play football and become the second engineer in his family. Congratulations, Warriors. Up next is Windermere High. Adina Ademujan was accepted to Vanderbilt University. She was president of the Science National Honor Society, co-president of the Environmental Club and vice president of the Science Olympiad. She hopes to become an environmental lawyer in the future. G. Bahar has been accepted to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he plans to study biomedical engineering. He is first in his class, a National Merit Scholar and a first-generation college student. Punja Chinasigari is attending the University of California, Los Angeles to study human biology and society. She is a member of the National Honor Society and Student Government Association and has traveled to more than 20 countries and most of the U.S. national parks. She wants to attend medical school and become a neurologist. Blake Croft has been accepted to Northwestern University and the University of California, Los Angeles. He earned a perfect score on his ACT and received the Best Actor Award at the Florida Theater Conference, Southeastern Theater Conference, and the District 5 Thespian Festival. He plans to study theater at Northwestern and hopes to perform someday on Broadway. Sage Croft has been accepted to Northwestern University as a writer and director who has been recognized as a Presidential Scholar of the Arts and is a National Student Emmy winner. He plans to study film production and hopes to work in Hollywood. Leslie Edwards has been accepted to the University of California, Los Angeles. She is secretary of the National Honor Society and varsity captain of the girls' flag football team. She plans to study political science and go to law school. Jacob Goldberg is a two-time Florida All-State Band percussionist, varsity football team captain, and AP scholar with distinction. He will attend the U.S. Military Academy at West Point and would like to serve as an officer in the U.S. Army. Anna Sophia Hadley was accepted to Duke University. She was student government president and secretary of the Florida Association of Student Councils. Sophie also started a fundraiser for Arnold Palmer and Winnie Palmer Hospitals that raised over $251,000. She plans to study biomedical engineering. Emiliana Marcano was accepted to Hamilton and Wellesley Colleges. She is president of the Spanish Honor Society and member of the National Honor Society. She plans to double major in economics and public policy and minor in international politics. Jake Prieto was accepted to Claremont McKenna College and Grinnell College. Jake is a three-year varsity letterman and football team captain and a member of three honor societies. He plans to attend Claremont McKenna to study molecular biology with hopes of becoming an ophthalmologist. Connor Roddy was accepted to the University of California, Los Angeles. He was a member of the swim and water polo teams and wants to study business management and legal studies. After law school, he hopes to join the JAG Corps in the military and then become a corporate attorney. Congratulations, Wolverines. This completes District 4. We now move on to District 5 and school board member Kathleen Cat Gordon. She represents Jones and Oak Ridge High Schools. 2020 Super Scholars, you have given us excitement. You, you are the class that will make this world better. Go forth. 
Continue to make your family, yourself, and the OCPS community proud. Let love abide in your heart. Each of you possess special gifts and talent. In your haze, remember to register and vote. Our democracy depends on it. Today is your beginning. Go out and make us proud. Thanks, Kat. From Jones High School, Virginia Paul has been accepted to Westland University, an AP scholar. She is also a member of Jones High School Marching Band and Wind Ensemble, playing the flute and piccolo. Virginia plans to study psychology to one day open up a psychiatry counseling office. Congratulations, Tiger. Over at Oak Ridge, Beverly Diaz has been accepted to and will attend Middlebury College. She will study environmental sciences to pursue a career that will allow her to utilize renewable energy in order to gear the world to more sustainable living. Gideon Guerson has been accepted to and will attend Princeton University. The Orlando Mayor's MLK Youth Humanitarian Leadership Enterprise for a Diverse America Scholar and Gates Scholarship Finalist plans to study mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Pioneers. All right, that concludes District 5. Now we'll move on to District 6. School board member Karen Castor Dental represents Edgewater and Evans High Schools. Hello, Super Scholars. I want to let you know that we recognize the time and effort involved in achieving the Super Scholar status this year. You are members of an elite group of Orange County Public School students, and you earned it. This is a great way to cap off your academic high school career but it is an even greater place to start your college career. Going to an academically competitive college or university can be intimidating for some, but just take a deep breath and know that your teachers and family have prepared you well. You already know how to make the most of your high school experience, so remember to get involved, make new friends, and make the most of your higher education. Good luck. From Edgewater High School, John Denning has been accepted to Williams College and Yale. John established a community succulent garden on his campus and is the first in his family to attend an Ivy League school. He plans to attend Yale, major in ethics, politics, and economics, join the Peace Corps, and work in prison reform and social advocacy work. Daniel Green has been admitted to the U.S. Naval Academy. He was a captain of the 2019 state runner-up Eagle football team, performed mission work with Clubhouse Guatemala, constructing homes and helping children, and was honored by the Orlando Rotary Club as the Edgewater High School Student of the Month in February. Daniel will major in computer engineering at the Naval Academy, explore playing professional football, and one day serve as a commissioned officer in the U.S. Navy. Sophia Lotz has been accepted to Washington University. Sophia is the president of the National Beta Club and the captain of the Edgewater Girls Swim Team. During the summer, she volunteers with Special Olympics Florida at Camp Shriver. She plans to major in biology and get her master's degree or attend dental school. Brianna Pajot has been accepted to Brown, Dartmouth, Duke, Harvard, Pomona, Rice, and Stanford. She is a class valedictorian, founder of a girls' coding club, and plans to conduct artificial intelligence research and develop software. In the fall, she will either attend Brown, Harvard, or Stanford to major in computer science. Molly Palmer has been accepted to and will attend Vanderbilt. She started a tutoring program with Princeton Elementary School where she volunteers weekly. She's a member of the Superintendent's Student Advisory Council and is president of the Math Honor Society. Molly plans to major in medicine, health and society and work in public health or corporate social responsibility. Sam Shoemaker has been accepted to Washington University in St. Louis. He is a co-president of the National Honor Society and is experienced in MLA 8 format. He will attend Washington, major in art, and work in industrial design. John Somerville has been accepted to UCLA. John ranks in the top 10 of his graduating class, is captain of the Edgewater crew team, and the student manager of the Eagles Market, the school's market program through Second Harvest Food Bank. He plans to major in biology and attend medical school to become a doctor. Congratulations, Eagles. Next, we welcome Evans High School. Iverson Mande has received an appointment to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. The lacrosse team captain is also the 2020 3A District 3 champion in wrestling for 160 pounds. 
At West Point, Iverson plans to major in computer science before serving his country. Evan Thompson has been accepted at Harvard, Stanford, and the University of Pennsylvania and Washington University in St. Louis. Born in Jamaica, the Evans valedictorian plans to attend Harvard and major in neuroscience with the intention of going into medicine to become a neurosurgeon. Congratulations, Trojans. All right, this is all of our District 6 Super Scholars. And last but not least is school board member Melissa Bird, who represents District 7 high schools, Apopka, Okoe, and Wakaiva. Hello, Super Scholars. This is school board member Melissa Bird, and I just want to congratulate the Super Scholars from Apopka, Wakaiva, and Okoe High Schools on this awesome accomplishment. We are so proud of you, and we know that high school is tough these days with the demanding coursework, the multiple extra extracurricular activities you're involved in, and everything else you have going on in your life. But the way you did it so well and the way you excelled is just an inspiration to all of us. Thank you for showing us how it's done. Good luck with your futures. We can't wait to see what else you achieve. Thanks, Melissa. First up is a Popka High. Jackson Davis has been accepted to Amherst, Brown, Cornell, Duke, and Grinnell. He holds four track records at the school, is ranked third in his class, and has been selected as a Ron Brown captain. He will attend Brown University, where he plans to major in computer science in hopes of becoming a software engineer. Cecilia de Jesus Reynoso has been accepted and will attend the University of Pennsylvania. She taught an English class at the Institute Inslem in the Dominican Republic and is the founder of the Environmentalist Society of Apopka. She plans to major in mathematical economics and become a public policy data analyst. Jordan Jenkins has been accepted to Brown, Washington, and Yale Universities. He was a University of Chicago summer scholar, served as editor of the school student-run paper, and was a member of Apopka's speech and debate team. Jordan will attend Yale, where he plans to major in ethics, politics, and economics. Ruby Nunez has received a full scholarship too and will attend Colby College. The Questbridge Scholar is a proud captain and award-winning member of the speech team, Science National Honor Society secretary, and is president of the Roe Kappa Social Studies Honor Society. She plans to major in computer science and computation psychology with a minor in managerial economics. Congratulations, Blue Darters. Up next is Okoe High School. Tam Ha has been accepted too and will attend Hamilton College. She has been a dedicated band member and will be the first of her family to attend college. At Hamilton, Tam plans to major in neuroscience to one day work in the medical field. Christine Malvis has been accepted to the University of Notre Dame and Washington and Lee University. She is an AP scholar with distinction, Questbridge finalist and member of the city of Okoe's Okoe Youth Council. She intends to major in nursing or healthcare management and policy. Congratulations, Knights. And we now have come to our final school, Wakaiva High School. Westgina Breville has been accepted to Brown, Duke, Grinnell, Hamilton College, John Hopkins University, Northwestern, Rice, University of Pennsylvania, Vanderbilt, and Washington and Lee University. This salutatorian is a first-generation college student who will attend Penn's Wharton School of Business to study business economics and public policy with a concentration in social impact and responsibility. Natalie Dolores was accepted to Duke University, Stanford, and Vanderbilt University. She plans to attend Stanford, majoring in English, and then going on to law school. Congratulations, Mustangs. Well, I thought that would be the end of our program, but we have some breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, as college acceptance letters continue to be received by students, guess what? I am excited to share that we have learned of a few more super scholars. They're, they're even more adding to the already record-breaking year with more than 117 super scholars. Congratulations to the students whose names are displayed. We are so proud of each and every one of you. This concludes our recognition of the 2020 Super Scholars for Orange County Public Schools. It has been a pleasure serving as your MC today on this very different ceremony. I know it's very different than what we do every year, but every year since I've been doing this, I always share that I am a very proud Orange County Public Schools mom. I have a third grader and a first grader, go Hillcrest Elementary, and uh, you are all an inspiration for me and for my kids. So I send my congratulations 
congratulations and all my love to each and every one of you, your parents, and every family member and friend that supported you along this journey. I can't wait to see you all shine in the future. Congratulations once again to our 117 plus super scholars. We wish you all the best and we know that you will continue to make OCPS proud. Go class of 2020.